Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got an Alcatel 3V. Now usually I start the videos with an unboxing, however I didn't get the box uh, with this unit. I did get the case which is supplied in the box if you buy the handset itself. So let's start. We've got a fingerprint sensor, dual lens camera, system on the back, an LED flash, a power button, a SIM tray, a headphone jack, which is always a nice addition, volume down, volume up, and we've got a micro USB speaker and a microphone. Now the SIM tray doubles up as a memory card tray as well, which is a decent option considering the phone has only 16 gigabytes of internal storage, at least on the UK market, and if you'd like to, you can expand it up to 128 with a memory card. So that's nice. It's always nice to have a choice rather than not to have it. Now the phone itself, yes, it does run on a older Android, which is Android 8.0, but considering the phone has a six inch display, 2K resolution display and costs 99 pounds, or actually recently it was even priced at 75 pounds, this is pretty decent spec for what you get. Now, Obviously, as it is with Alcatel, you do get some advanced features, like for example, App Cloner, which allows you to run two apps of the same type, like WhatsApp or Facebook, to have two WhatsApp accounts or two uh, Facebook accounts on one phone. Then you've got the Funk, which allows you to add shortcuts onto the lock screen. So on the bottom of the lock screen, if you'd like to, you can have shortcuts to your favorite apps. Quick launch camera, which means that if you press the power button twice, it launches the camera, double tap to screen, one handed mode, which is very, very, very convenient considering it's a six inch display. Um, and yeah, you just have to touch the home button twice, like for example, on an iPhone, which is called reachability on the iOS. And if you'd like, you can even resize the window, which is a very nice addition. Again, considering the price, it's nice to have an option rather than not have it. Uh, now the phone does support two gigabytes of RAM. Obviously in 2019, that might not be much, but to be honest, it runs pretty smoothly. There are, uh, it's, it's really hard to, to blame the handset, you know, not running what you want to. Yes, you do get around 1.33 um, of gig gigabytes of RAM free after a reboot. There's not much installed on the phone but it runs pretty smoothly. It allows you to multitask if you'd like to. You can use split view, so for, you can use two apps simultaneously next to each other if you'd like to on the phone, which considering the size, the sheer size of the display is very nice as usual. Now you do get the Joy Launcher and a normal launcher if you'd like to. Joy Launcher is a bit simpler. So if you're thinking about buying the phone for a senior member of family or for your, your um, child, it is a nice option to have. You don't have to download any third party apps. And like I've mentioned, you do get the fingerprint sensor. So again, considering the price of the phone, you do get quite a lot for that. I think the handset that comes to my mind reasonably specced with a fingerprint sensor, that would be one of these Xiaomi's which are quite difficult to get on a UK market. Because, for example, the Y6 doesn't have a fingerprint sensor, neither the, does the Nokia 3.1. So, yeah, it, it's, it's the, the next closest handset would be Xperia L2, but that's £129, 5.5 inch display and so on and so on. These are the apps that do come pre-installed on the phone. So you get like a camera, obviously, and so on and so on. Now, the camera is 12 megapixels. It's not the strongest point of the handset itself. And it's not because of the f-stop 2.2 um, aperture. It's 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 not that. It's just not the best. Now you can take, let's say, let's call them portrait pictures. You know, with the blurred background, which you will see at the very end of the video. But that's not that much. Then you've got a couple of special modes, like a social mode, where you can take four pictures and it stitches them together to make like a collage of out of these pictures. In terms of video quality, you get full HD at 30 frames per second. Video stabilization is only electronic, uh, electronically stabilized, which means um, it's done via software rather than hardware. But it works pretty well in all of the video resolu resolutions. 
Overall, I have to admit that the device itself is pretty surprising to me. I mean, considering, considering the price, this is what you usually expect from like, you know, Chinese um, manufacturers rather than like a French Alcatel. But yes, I have to admit they did a really good job. So yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Bye.